Here are the three stages of the human cardiac cycle. On the left is diastole, when the heart is totally relaxed. In the middle stage, we've got atrial systole, where the atria have contracted, pushing blood into the ventricles. But on the right-hand side, the atria have relaxed and the ventricles are contracted, pushing blood out of the heart to the lungs and body. In this screencast, we're going to look at the electrical events within the heart that coordinate those events. The human heart is myogenic. That means it contains its own natural pacemaker in the form of a specialised patch of muscle called the SA node. The SA node sends out pulses of electrical activity that spread across the atria. A piece of medical equipment called an ECG can detect these electrical impulses and they're known as the P wave on an ECG trace. Like any electrical current, the impulses from the SA node cause the muscle to contract, resulting in the stage called atrial systole, forcing blood down to the ventricles, completing filling. Across the middle of the heart, there is a band of non-conducting muscle. The SA signals can't pass down to the ventricles, except at one point which is called the AV node. This offers a path from the atria to the ventricles for the electrical activity. But first, the AV node accumulates the electrical charges from the SA node, letting them build up, before releasing them in a great burst of energy down the special pathway called the bundle of His, which comprises special fibres called perkine fibres. The signals then travel back up through the ventricular muscle, causing contraction from the bottom upwards. These bursts of electrical activity coinciding with ventricular systole are labelled the QRS complex. And finally, another discharge called the T wave initiates the onset of the next relaxation or diastolic phase. Then the cycle repeats itself over and over again. You can begin to build up an idea of the relationship between the electrical and physical events in the heart by studying these traces. Spend some time relating the impulses that cause contraction and the increases in pressure and reductions in volume until you're really confident with what's happening and why. So that is the coordination of the cardiac cycle. I hope you found it as fascinating as I do.